Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the 2023 Bolt EUV. This is my personal vehicle I bought last April. It comes equipped with a 200 horsepower single motor and mounted in the front with a 266 pound-feet of torque. Starting off with the front fascia, it does look pretty cool. It does have a single front-facing camera as well as two side cameras and two rear view cameras. The EV does support 55 kilowatt hour charging via level three and it supports level two as well, allowing you to charge zero to full in five hours on level two and 50 minutes on level three. The EUV does come equipped with two primary displays. The front facing display is more for driver centric features such as looking at your speedometer as well as your tire pressure, etc. The main display here does come equipped with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is a feature that Chevrolet is getting rid of in all their electric vehicles in 2024. The center console does come equipped with wireless charging, so you are able to charge even large phones such as mine. So I can just insert it up front and it'll charge. It does come with the sport mode button, traction control, as well as lane keep assist. It does come with a copious storage area as well as two cup holders. The steering wheel does feel really, really good in my hands. It's got a great nine and three grip. It's got this leather material surrounding it and it just feels great. It does have a super cruise option, which enables you to travel down the freeway with no intervention, fully autonomous. But again, it only works on select highways throughout the United States. It doesn't work on city streets. The vehicle does come equipped with a rear view camera that is mounted on the back and that pipes into the LCD screen mounted within the rear view mirror, which is a really nice feature. You can toggle back and forth between the main rear view mirror and the LCD screen, which is really, really cool, especially in a vehicle that's priced as low as this. The vehicle does come with a panoramic sunroof, which you can toggle up here. It's really, really groovy. I'll power it on to demonstrate it. You are able to lower the roof and raise it depending on what your driving style is. And you are able to close the sunshade as well without keeping the roof closed, which is a really nice feature. The EUV does come equipped with really nice leather seats. As a tall person, one of the things I don't like is getting in and out of this car in the back seat because you kind of have to bend your neck as I've just done before you. But other than that, Overlooking that, it's a really nice back seat interior. Sitting in the middle seat, very comfortable as well. One thing I would say is that if you have two large adults sitting next to you, and if you're in the middle of the seat, you might feel a bit cramped. But other than that, it's great. It's got USB-C, USB-A for charging. And so far it feels really, really comfortable regardless of what position I'm in in the rear seat. The car does have plenty of storage. It does have collapsible second row of seats. They go all the way down, which is really, really nice. Revealing a ton of storage in the vehicle. And the trunk is not power, so you do have to close it manually, which is a feature I don't like. But other than that, it's a really good car at a really low price, given that it's electric, so it's a nice feature. So that concludes the interior walkthrough of the 2023 Bolt EUV Premier, and we'll see you in the next video.